So okay. Yeah. Mm. Move to Formula One now, right? Yeah, Diamonds before, are set for yeah, the Australian yeah. Open. Yes. I mean, Formula One is just right here. I mean, it felt like yesterday when we Nicola saw that final, mm -hmm. you know, race in Abu Dhabi uh, where when Russell, I think the partner, Russell, <laughs> Nico Rosberg, That's right. and Lewis Hamilton went mm. head to head, and um, <laughs> uh, the German actually, you know, emerged um, uh, the champion at the end of the day. But 2017 is just around the corner. Um, Melbourne, that's where it will go down. The first race of the, of the season. Exactly. And um, we've seen pre-season testing, Cecilia Austin. I mean, yeah. if we're going by what we've seen in testing, you have to say Ferrari are looking really, really good. Mm -hmm. You know, followed by the likes of Mercedes. Obviously, they will be there competing. But the surprise uh, for me was Williams, Martini. I think they had a very solid uh, preseason. Uh, we saw the veteran um, that retired and unretired. Uh, if you're going to help him with his name now. Felipe Massa. Yeah, Felipe Massa. He had a solid preseason as well, too. And Red Bull, let's, let's not forget Red Bull as well. So it looks like we're in it's for one of the most competitive. competitive F1 season in a long time. I agree, yeah. and that's the problem with the word pre. Uh, March 26, the pre <laughs> will go off, and then the season will start. Okay. You know, and then the real guys will step up and start doing it. Ferrari, okay. yes, every pre season tower of Sicilia, they come out, they give us promise, make us want to look up to them. There's just something wrong about their strategy. There's something wrong about the pit stops that the engineers need to look at and say, look, we need to start getting it proper now. You know, um, for Red Bull, I think they had a disappointing season. They need to step up. Uh, Mercedes, for sure. We know they're still going to put up some good competition. Uh, Williams, we can only just talk about um, Felipe Massa going and coming back and all of that. But I think it's about time we start hearing more from the other guys. You know, uh, Daniel Ricciardo should promise. Let's just hope that he'll be able to come back. I mean, Formula 1 is all about speed. It's all about upsets. Let's yep. see. Let's see. Max Verstappen <laughs> got us talking last Red season. Bull, yeah. Let's see. Let's see if we get us talking again. Yeah, yeah the but... picture you saw just now had to do with uh, Vettori Bottas. You know, yeah. he's in Australia. He was had to do some ice hockey thing right, with the yeah. Melbourne team and all that as part of his preparations for the for the uh, first Grand Prix of the year. But yeah. the thing is, when he was asked about him, you know, what if he gets to win the <laughs> opening Grand race, of the the opening season. race yeah. it would have been a good start for him. But then. When you're racing against Lewis Hamilton, who actually chased Nico Rosberg literally, mentally, physically, and everything, and the guy had to retire after he managed to win his one, then you know that you're in for trouble. So that's what I mean. He just turns so this the is supposed to, to re relax. Yeah. Precisely. You know, yeah. you know, it's dangerous, Donnie. It's very, it very, is. very, You know, I heard of a very... Yeah. Oh, no. Nah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> well, I mean... But you know, this, this guy is... Um, they prepare in all sort of ways, Tyler, because ways. they need that balance yep. psychologically, mentally, physically, you know. Yeah, so yeah. any opportunity they have for you and I to talk about them, they're gonna do it, you know. Sometimes it's just their own way of easing up the pressure. You know, just imagine oh, that rush that oh, this another new yeah. season. <laughs> you know, what if I start well, what if I don't start well for for butters? A good start might just, you know, might um, just be what it needs. There you and go. Yeah. Might just make it a season of expectations. Exactly. And if you check in the preseason, when he had about 628 most, laps, that's equal laps. to 2,923 kilometers. No mm. one could do that. He yeah, was the only one who yeah. did that. So it tells you a whole lot that this man just watch out for him at the Australian Grand Prix. That's second. what it is. So we're waiting March 26th, the Australian Grand Prix. Uh, we'll uh, take off. But let's listen to the drivers. They're talking. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. It's a great challenge for everyone, but I think especially for me, you know, the, this team has been winning the last two years and uh, it's kind of a dream come true for me to be in a, in a team like this, so it's a big year ahead. I think Mercedes doesn't, doesn't have number one or num number two driver and um, that's pretty much up to me to, to perform. And as long as I, I do my job, uh, so that is to perform on the track, on the level where the car should be, and I, I know I can do it. We we'll feel a difference to years before. Now that the cars are quicker in the corners, we experience bigger G-forces. And that just puts extra load in, in, in your body and uh, it's more, you feel a little bit more fatigue. Obviously the target with all the winter training is to not to feel anything, but always the first time, you know, after the winter you get in the car, you find uh, places can, can be a bit sore, but the body gets used to it and um, I feel physically I'm, I'm ready for the year, but I, I think it's good for the Formula 1 that it's more, the physical side of it becomes more and more important now. Well, that's, that would be the, the perfect way to start a season and uh, my career with Mercedes, uh, but um, 
I'm not thinking about it too much. Obviously, it's, it's the only thing I want, but uh, I always want to just focus on, on my job and work, work as a team. And if we do, do our work perfectly, if I do my job perfectly, it's possible. But um, yeah, I, I, definitely the goal for me is to start the season in a good way, uh, get the results early on and uh, continue from there. At the pinnacle of Formula One's always been the motorsport, but what we're seeing this year with the new owners in place is that we're really going to be dialing up the F1 experience, the race experience for them, and the digital activations on circuit. And one of the things we're seeing this year already is a great amount of support, and the support for the future as well, when it comes to things like our Melbourne Walk, Formula One fan forums, and really getting, you know, making personalities out of the drivers, even more so than ever before. So we're really excited to be working closely with the management of Formula One and we can't wait to be hosting them for the opening round here in Melbourne. Lewis Hamilton, because he's British, probably. But then again, Daniel Ricciardo, he's from Perth, so we'll probably be, have a soft spot for him too in the Red Bull team. Oh, look, it'd be great to see uh, Daniel Ricciardo win. No, I think we'd all love that, but if Mercedes comes in second, I'd be just as happy. So that's it. They can't wait. We cannot wait to also talk about it. Let the action begin and then we will do the reactions.